Today I'm going to show you how to create a data set, data file in uh, the forecasting module of POMQM and uh, how to solve it. So uh, by now you should have installed the POMQM software on your, um, hard, uh, on your computer. So double click on the icon to launch the software. I usually close the tip of the day. Under the modules, go to forecasting click. Under the file menu, you want to create a new file. If you have one that has already been saved to your hard drive, you can just click it open. But for now, I want to click new. Notice that you have several options. Uh, time series analysis um, and least squares, um, least and, uh, least squares multiple and simple regression are essentially the two that you can use um, during this uh, forecasting set session that we're going to have together. So today I'm going to show you uh, how to use a time series analysis um, option of the forecasting module. Click on it. Um, you will see this um, data set uh, window. Uh, with every module in POMQM, uh, you will get this data entry uh, window. Uh, I can name this to be uh, problem uh, 14. I'm sorry, problem 18. Um, looking at problem 18, we have uh, a time series that has, I will read it to you, it says sales of Coolman air conditioners have grown steadily during the past five years. And we have five years of data. And then it says the sales manager had predicted before the business started that year one sales would be 410 air conditioners. Using exponential smoothing with a weight of alpha equal to 0 0.3, develop forecasts for years two, to, two through six. So we know that we have th five years of data. Um, and at this point, I can leave this um, untouched. I'll just click OK. Um, under demand, um, un um, in time series analysis, always the variable to be predicted is y, the dependent variable, uh, and the independent variable is always time. So I will leave it as past period 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. My sales of air conditioners in the past years have been 450, 495, 518, 563, and 584 um, in that order from oldest to newest data. The problem says that we should use uh, exponential smoothing. So under the methods uh, bar, I'll click and I will go to exponential smoothing. Notice that there is exponential smoothing with trend uh, also, uh, but we want to use uh, single exponential smoothing. If I click on it, the heading bar or th this top bar changes. Now I can choose my alpha for smoothing, which uh, the problem tells me it should be 0 0.3. Also remember, with single exponential smoothing, you always need an initial forecast. The problem tells us that the manager had predicted sales for year one should be four, would be 410. So I will go ahead and put 410 in here. And at this point, I'm ready to solve. I will get five different results windows. The first one is the forecasting results, which pops up automatically. It gives you the bias, uh, MAD, MSE, standard error, and MAPE, mean absolute percent error. And it also gives you the forecast for the next period. Now, depending on where you, how many digits you set your decimals, the results will vary. Also, you can include commas if you wish. Oops. Hmm. It's not doing it. All right. And um, one more thing. Um, it also says error analysis begins at first period with forecast. So if I go to my Windows menu, and go to details and error analysis, it tells me how 
um, the error, absolute error, error squared, and percent error uh, have been calculated. Um, the bias is just a simple error. It's not absolute value of it or it's not squared. squared. Um, for example, actual uh, y minus the forecast is 40. For period 2, 495 minus 422 is 73, uh, and so on and so forth. If, if you were to take absolute value, the results would be here. So the bias does not uh, correct for direction of the error, but the absolute error corrects for the direction of the error, and the error squared, of course, squares the error, therefore it, the entry will always be a positive value. Uh, you have several other windows that pop up. Um, I will let you explore those on your own. Error as a function of alpha is given. For example, uh, based on bias um, as a measure of error, uh, the different alpha values give different biases. The MAD is given, the MSE, etc., etc. So this way you can compare and see which alpha error, uh, alpha um, value const, uh, which alpha coefficient is better uh, for uh, to generate the best accurate uh, uh, forecast. One more thing um, about, uh, of course, uh, under the windows you also can get a graph. These are the actuals and these are the forecasted values. All the one for each of the um, five uh, years plus for year six, which is to be predicted for next year. Um, if I go to edit fun menu uh, and if I leave the alpha blank and then if I solve, notice what you get here. The best alpha based on MAD is one. The best alpha based on MSE is one. Error analysis begins with the first period of the forecast. So you leaving uh, the alpha field open or blank and solving, it will generate the best alpha value, uh, it will um, report the best alpha value for you. Under error as a function of alpha, you can see that when alpha is 1, um, um, both MAD and MSE are the lowest in their respective columns. Thank you.